everybody, Tanisha here coming to you guys with a collaboration video. I do not get to do these often because I batch film, but you will be seeing several collaboration videos from me because we are on homeschool break and I'm able to batch film them, film a bunch of videos at one time is what that means. I'm able to do that in advance. So you will see a lot of me in the same outfits, a lot of me talking about different subjects, rocking different things. So expect to see about four videos in a purple shirt, about seven videos in a gray shirt, but they're all awesome, you know, so make sure you watch them all. Today's collaboration though is called The Reading Between the Lines Book Club by um, Mommy and Mia's Homeschool Chronicles and um, Simple Rugged Path. So I'll make sure I put their names here and then you will also be able to go below to see their channels um, and the blog post. So make sure you go to the blog post. There'll be links to all that information and there's a playlist as well for everybody who is part of this and so what you do is you all read a book and then you all do your video reviews on it so that's what i will be doing today all right guys so i just joined this um we are already in preparation to film the video for the next book which i just finished but i had time so i read the previous book which is the kindness challenge by shanti felden Feldhun? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right now. I believe this is the second book by this author. I have never read the first, but I decided to go ahead and grab this. Um, now, based off of their videos, I wasn't too sure when I snagged it. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be something I read and just instantly gave away um, because it had quite a few mixed reviews from the videos that I saw just in watching the Reading Between the Lines videos. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want this book, but guys, I like it. I, I cannot believe I like it. I really, 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 really like it. The best book. thing that I liked about this book was that it provided practical information on how um, being kind is more than just doing a nice thing. It broke down the definitions, the difference, and emphasis on being kind and not nice because those are two different things. Um, it included some biblical principles. Um, in here I love that about this book I love that she gave different examples for the 30-day kindness challenge um, which the entire book is not about that the entire book is about learning how to apply the principles and then the last like the little 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 last part of the book is three different 30-day kindness challenges based off of who you were doing it for so I really did like the layout of this book I thought it flowed well I thought it was a very well written book I was really surprised it was like a conversation piece type book what I did not like about this book was the fact that she did not include actual scripture references with her scripture references. So there are places in the book where she'll say, you know, as John said, or it says in Ecclesiastes, well, I need you to put the number with the colon and the other number. Like, I don't like when people do that when they reference the Bible because then you could be paraphrasing it, which means you could be taking the scripture out of context or you could just be lying. I don't like that. So that's the only thing I did not like about this book is that if you're going to include scriptures, in my opinion, then include the actual scripture so I can be the Berean and know that what you're saying actually applies to what you have written. It goes I together. My favorite quote in the book is from chapter 5, thinking you know how to be kind, think again. No more kind blindness. So it's right when you start chapter 5. Yet in my research, I discovered we are usually a bit deluded. We are not nearly as kind as we think we are. And in reading this, I was like, that is so true because you think that you're kind to somebody when you're actually just having a nice moment. So you may not like somebody, but you'll smile when you see them, but that's not kind. I love the fact that she talked about showing kindness to enemies, which is really one of the things that we have problems with as Christians. We don't want to show kindness when we feel people don't deserve us being kind to them, but that's not true. You are to do that. That is a command. Um, you know, that's a command from the Bible to treat others as you would like to be treated. That is not a request. You know, that's a commandment. <laughs> so we need to make sure that we're doing that. But this book really does a good job of breaking down. You think you're being kind, but you're really not being kind. You're just being nice. And that's not the same. Would I read another book from this author? I don't think so. Um, I don't know anything about for women only, but I don't need any women's help books. That's not anything that I need right now. This right here, though, went perfectly what I'm already doing. I think that's why I really like this book so much because I have been doing this for years. Um, I have a very strong personality, if you cannot tell from my videos, but I went through a phase where I was very mean. I have a video about that um, from infamous to famous, and I'll link that video below. But I talk about that, about attitude adjustments and changes and things that I had to do to show myself friendly, to get friends and all those things. And 
I've been doing this. So this was like, yes, I've been doing it. Who knew there needed to be a book about it? But I've been doing it. What feeling does this book evoke for you? Would you recommend this book? And what are the new things did you learn? So I, like I said, um, I enjoyed reading this book. This this book was not, it was like a, not necessarily an aha moment, but about time kind of moment. Because I, like I said, I've already been doing this. Um, the new things that I learned from this book is, I would say just reminders to use patience in everything. Let patience have her perfect work. Let it work. Let it work. Be patient and just a reminder of doing things and not expecting anything in return. Um, and uh, also a kick in the pants about saying thank you. I've been doing that for a while and I kind of stopped. I randomly tell my children thank you. Even if I've already told them to do it, they know they should do it. Thank you for making your bed. Thank you for doing your schoolwork. Thank you for reading this book. Thank you for picking that cup up. Thank you for cleaning your area. Telling my husband that. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being a great husband. Thank you for being a great father. Thank you for paying that, paying that mortgage. Okay, those are the things that I already so, do. What questions do you still have? And did you think the book changed your opinion or perspective about anything? Do you feel different now than you did before you read it? Um, I don't have any questions. Um, I like that she included her research. That would have been the only question I had is show me the proof. And she did that in here. There's a lot of charts and graphs and all sorts of things to show you what she did. And she did this for a long time. So I like that. And um, the last question is what surprised you the most about the book? And my big surprise was that I liked it. I'm serious. Based off of the videos I saw, people were like, eh, I don't know. I liked her first one. I don't know if I like this one. But I really like this book. And again, it wasn't because I needed the information. It wasn't new information to me. But it was a, yes, you know, she gets it. I've been doing this. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm, I'm going, continually going in the right direction. I have softened my persona so much over the years. I just wish there was a book like this out years ago. There, you know, maybe there was one I wasn't really reading back then. Um, like I used to when I was really younger, but I wish I had this book year two, year three of marriage when I was really doing all this work and I've been perfecting it over the years and people have said they noticed a great change in me. So I'm thankful for that. So I enjoyed this book. Um, I do think this book will work well for anybody who is trying to get out of the um, clap backstage in their life. Like I, I know what that is. I went through one. Um, again, hello college. But I think this is, this is really good. This is good for spouses who are on the brink or towards the brink of or any parents that are having issues with their children, grown or even little kids, like, you know, I don't know, pre-teens, teens, this will be a good way to break down those barriers. Um, you know, a lot of people have tumultuous in-law relationships, stuff like that. If you're trying to repair, rebuild, or asking God to restore, or just create, because it's never been, like asking God to create those things, this book will definitely help you do that for how to walk out what God has commanded us to do, which is love your neighbor as yourself. You know, a lot of couples come to us, me and my husband, and they're looking for something and people are always handing them different books. I think this will be a good book to hand them um, to look at separately. Each spouse gets your own and you work this out, you read it, you work it out before each other and just try to come back together. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. The next book, I think I have it in here, I do. The next book that we will be reading together, The Read Aloud Family, that's what the next video will be about. For the Reading the Between the Lines book club, again, I think I will put those channels again. You will see them flowing really quickly right here, flash, flash. But most importantly, be sure to visit the blog, Married to KDK, WordPress.com to see what I'm talking about. You can also see my homeschool Instagram, Team Kip Academy. And if you're a planner babe like me, you can check out Married to KDK on Instagram. That's where I have all my planner stuff. And occasionally I do a little bit of makeup, but mostly my planner, um, you know, and maybe a lipstick the other day. Who knows? Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video.